Hello, I'm Patricia McNeely, and I'm a woman twin from Chicago, Illinois. Um, I am starting a series of webinars, and what they will involve are a series of positions. Now, everything is guided. I am receiving quite a bit of information from my higher self and adjusting it here to deliver to many people. There have been many people uh, who have been able to be in their union. One of the reasons that twins have broken up with each other, even when they've met and been together or lived together, is that they're concluding old agreements and old contracts, and there's just stuff in the union that needs to be broken. Now, in order to do that, many times that means that they separate. The separation itself is serving a purpose, and while it might seem that some are running and some are chasing, or in actuality, the runner is just maintaining a distance so that they can um, have some of the things naturally fall out and fall away from their union, and the person chasing is just merely uh, staying focused on the person who does contain the other half of their soul. So uh, it's important to remember that this is not an obsession. This is the return of your own immortal soul, and there's nothing more important in the entire universe. It's a part of our divine plan that uh, the souls who have separated while they've maintained a, a connection, a thread, a golden cord to each other that can never, ever be severed, that um, it's always been a part of the plan that they come together. The difference for many people on this distinction is that uh, part of the agreement depends on what the twins are, uh, what their agreement with each other is, who they are to each other, what type of twins they are, because some twins, frankly, have been waiting for some of the seeding and the gifting that needs to take place. Other people um, have had uh, earthly contracts or situations that they've needed to extricate themselves from. Many of us felt that we, we, our love was so powerful that nothing was insurmountable, and yet in this density, it has seemed insurmountable. And please know that it's always a part of the plan that love always finds it level. Those that love you will find you. You'll make the right connections. Hopefully, uh, for some of you, I am the right connection for this time and place for you. And uh, this is uh, what we're here for, is for the majority of people who are trying to get back with their twin or connect or connect in a deeper way, this is for you. And so I plan to, with this series of uh, webinars or classes, to... Uh, guide you through some of the positions for run, opening up the channels in your body and expanding them. And there's different levels of expansion. So we are everything from the teeniest, teeniest, teeniest thing. And in fact, we can be as small as guard particle all the way up to just gigantic proportions. And some of you have seen different versions of yourself. You've seen yourself in different forms or felt different forms felt as though you might have appeared this way in this life or had a different appearance. And this is all valid because many of you have been on a journey and those remembrances are coming back to you. Some of you are remembering things that you can't quite connect the dots to and you're having what might be considered random spiritual experiences or mystical experience or fantastical things. And I'm here to tell you that we are those fantastical beings. We are the ones who have actually lived what has become to be considered a fantasy. But that actually is our reality. And you're being enabled once again to get back to it. So the first part will bring you through some prime positions so that as we enter into the energy of the solstice, you can not only connect with the higher electric feminine, but to anchor it into your body and let it flow. This does give several benefits to you. It does actually connect at a deep level, so it allows for greater intimacy, but also for greater healing, for breathing, um, 
the electric feminine uh, in its very fine, refined state is airy. It's the uh, cosmic force of air. And while they can be very strong, it can be a tornado or hurricane force. It can also be a, a light breeze or a breath. And so the positions are intended to enable you to feel this, to catch scents on the air, to feel your organs, to open the tiny ductwork within your body for digestion, for circulation, for healing those very far away fungal infections that some of you might be experiencing. So thank you for joining and we're going to go into that right now. Thank you.